All right, here's the video of 11 Spirit Way. Show you a bit of the neighborhood. Pretty good spacing between the houses. There's a privacy fence on both sides, but there's no connecting fence, but you can put one in. This one backs up to the lake. See, it's two stories. Vinyl siding with the brick accents. This is the other homes. It's on a end of a cul-de-sac, well, not the end, but it, it is a cul-de-sac street, so it's not that far to the end. So there's not gonna be any drive-through traffic on this particular street. You can see how they took the privacy fence and added wrought iron or black anodized aluminum to fill in the gap back there. And I see the fencing in the back there laying down, so probably can be done. All right, let's head on in. Well, LSU Tigers. We won't hold that against them. <laughs> so this definitely has like a a uh, pergo floor look to it. It has lines like distressed. When you walk in, you have your foyer entryway. In fact, let me back up and do this right. Okay, walk in. You've got a transom above the front door, brick accents on either side. And then walk into the left is flat wall with a little key hanger. Most people might put a little table there where the little bench is. And it looks like it is a nine foot ceiling downstairs. You immediately have stairways going up to the right. And then the door over here leads out to the garage, right off the front foyer. They have a fan in here because it is warm. It's some type of a unique deal in here with the flooring and the hot water heaters in the back corner over there. And they've got some uh, hanging storage. Looks like offers. IJGA, International Junior Golf Association. Terry Bradshaw, Bud Light. So, looks like all guys in here. But they got the house looking pretty clean. So we'll see. Maybe they're young golf pros. I do see a little plaque here, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas. So they're obviously into the golf. So you walk in, the window opens up out to the water view, quite nice. You immediately have an island in the kitchen. And to the right is gas range. Microwave above, cabinets, but no crown molding on the top of the cabinets. So they put in some stuff there. Refrigerator and then a big walk-in pantry in the back here. Michael Jordan photo. Granite countertops. Then you have your great room. So you've got nice hanging pendant lights recessed cans in the kitchen, chandelier over the dining area. You got two TVs, so that helps with the sports. Here's your coat closet. It's a bump out here, so they can put that in. Smooth ceilings. And there's a little screened in porch area that leads out to the backyard where they have their grill. Steeler fans. And got another storage closet here. It's quite large. And behind that is a powder room. 
for your guests. So it's tucked away nicely in the back here. It needs a mirror. That's just a little tiny circular mirror. And it has that pergo floor that looks like wood. Okay. I know you're probably saying, oh, lower it, raise it. Let's see what's there. So I hope I don't miss too much. You can freeze this too and take a better look at different things if you like. Slider with a screen door. It's a small screen porch. Looks at about eight by eight. And pretty view of the, the water with some tree growth around there and they've cut it out in the middle to maximize the view. We got a little fire pit in the back there and a little pavers here. And you can see they have some wrought iron there. I assume that goes with this house. And then the vinyl siding. Okay, we'll head back in. Pardon the shakiness as I lock this door. Okay. So again, the kitchen with the counter top where they've got the coffee maker, refrigerator. You have to open the door, which would bang in the refrigerator a little bit, but still it's nice. It's a huge walk-in pantry. It has the round knob handles everywhere. I kind of like the levered handles personally, because it's easier to open and close. Uh, they have a screen here, so that's maybe to keep pets from going up and down or So now we'll head on upstairs. I don't think they have the lights on up here, but it's carpeted on the way up And you have a half wall as we come to the landing area Which is like a little loft. They turned into a little bit of an office set up You do have your return here ceiling fan and you have your pull down into the attic the washer and dryer upstairs they have a little space uh, zone system for air or some other type of filtration full bath here which is quite nice nice cabinets those may or may not stay on the wall uh, then you have your fiberglass insert for the shower and again, they have extra handhelds on there. These may or may not stay. And you have your washer and dryer right here. That's about it. No more space other than that. They have them elevated on the little cabinets below and they have one shelf above. Then the back bedroom overlooks the water. And we look like we're at about eight feet up here on the ceilings. You have a closet with a nice door. Okay. And looking out over the water. That's a nice view. I think I'd want my office in this room. Big screen TV. Ceiling fan in this guest bedroom. Laundry room to the left. And then a full bath to the right. And there's another bedroom. Here's the stairs going down. So we'll come, go into this bedroom. And this is like the master. They have a lot of extra fans in here. Seems like the homes all seem today have those. You've got a huge walk-in closet here. So this obviously is a master. Goes from the front to the back, carpeted, which kind of helps for sound for downstairs. Window in the closet, you can air that out. You've got two windows flanking the master bedroom here. A king size bed. Little desk, a couple little monitors, screens, TV, 
And here's the master bath. You got a big walking shower with a fiberglass insert. You have your cultured marble double vanity. You have a special light up mirror that probably will not stay. That looks like a TV type mirror or something, or a light mirror. We've got PNC Park. And a linen closet and water closet for the toilet and another closet over here as well with all their Vera Bradley bags interesting then <laughs> LSU Shaq Shaquille O'Neal you see him on commercials nowadays. He looks a lot different than when he did back then. And he, like me, have uh, expanded with age around the waistline. <laughs> anyway, all right. So that's a nice, nice bedroom. Then in the, uh, the loft area, there's another closet here which could be used for a variety of things, linen closet or, and then there's two more bedrooms up here. So you've got a big storage area here, which is on the other side of the stairway. So the master bedroom over here, guest bedroom in the back with a nice view. Got a pull down here, washer and dryer to the right and full bath to the left. That full bath will be utilized by all three of these bedrooms. Of course, here's where they put the desk in this loft space, which would make a nice little sitting room as well. So this is probably where the dog stays or if there's a child uh, in this bedroom. I've got the big TVs everywhere. Another king size bed, nice size closet. Yep, there's the dog uh, bed and nice window overlooking the front. Plenty of room for the king size bed, a little tight for the dresser there. No dresser, but it's you know up below the TV space, but that works. And Then we'll come over into the fourth bedroom, the other one on the front. So two of them on the front here. Golfer here for sure. Probably all golfers here. Cubs fan, Georgia Bulldog. So we won't hold that against them either. So they got the SEC kind of almost covered with me being a University of Florida grad. So I'm Florida, this guy's Georgia, someone else is LSU, the main person of the house it seems. And that's it. So again, guest bedroom, guest bedroom, both on the front of the house, the hallway going down, I'm staying in the loft area, master bedroom with full bath and behind that wall is a huge walk-in closet and a full bath, walk-in shower with a double vanity. Full bath up here, guest bedroom, and washer and dryer over here. And each one has its own closet. So I'll walk down the stairs here, take one last spin around and show this loft area again. It's pretty good size. It has a closet. Put that down. Show the living area one more time. So since there's a Georgia Bulldog in here, this is really the dog house. <laughs> My uh, dry sense of humor, sorry about that. Couldn't help but say that. All right, so I think that's it. Thank you.